Welcome to this video about the Draeger Fabius GS Premium Anesthesia Machine. We will give you a short overview of the key components of the Fabius GS Premium. We will start with the front side of the anesthesia machine. On the control panel, you find keys for setting the ventilation mode and the ventilation parameters, as well as the screen for ventilation monitoring, for pressure, volume and oxygen. The fresh gas values set are also given as virtual flow tubes on the screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, you also see LED indicators. These indicate the status of mains power as well as an alarm condition. The central element of the control panel is the rotary knob. It is the main control used to select and confirm all ventilation parameters and system settings. The operating philosophy is simple. Select a setting. Turn the rotary knob to change the setting and confirm the setting by pressing. The key for illuminating the vaporizers and the fresh gas control valves is also located on the control panel. This eases working in dark environments. The flow meter and pressure gauge assembly is located on the front panel of the machine below the screen. There are three fresh gas control valves for the adjustment of oxygen, air and nitrous oxide. The fresh gas control valves are labelled and colour-coded. To increase flow, turn the fresh gas control valve counterclockwise. To decrease flow, turn the fresh gas control valve clockwise. The total flow tube indicates the sum of the individual fresh gas flows. In this area, you also find the pressure gauges for the central gas supply. An LED flashes when no central oxygen supply pressure is detected. There are also pressure gauges for the optional pin index oxygen and air cylinders. On the right-hand side of the device, you find the mounting for the vaporizers for anaesthetic agents. There is a vaporizer auto-exclusion system available to ensure that only one vaporizer is opened at a time. A manually operated oxygen flush is located on the front of the anaesthesia machine. When pressed, the oxygen flush delivers an unmetered flow of at least 35 litres per minute to the breathing system, which is called COSI, short for Compact Breathing System. This flush function is always available as long as an oxygen source is connected, even if the machine is switched off. The optional auxiliary oxygen flow meter is located on the left side of the control panel. The Fabius GS Premium is equipped with a precise piston ventilator, which provides high tidal volume accuracy and requires no drive gas for operation. The ventilator hose connects the ventilator to the COSI. Let's have a closer look at the components of the COSI. Here you can see the expiratory and inspiratory ports for the connection of the patient breathing hoses, and also the flexible breathing bag holder for the breathing bag. On the inspiratory valve, you connect the oxygen sensor. On top of the COSI, you can see the expiratory and inspiratory valves. Here you can also find the APL valve, short for Adjustable Pressure Limitation Valve, as well as the connection ports for the PEEP PMAX valve, the APL Bypass valve and the Fresh Gas Decoupling valve. On the bottom side, you can see the flow sensor connection, the pressure measuring line, the anaesthetic gas scavenging port and the connection ports for the ventilator and fresh gas hoses, as well as the connection for the CO2 absorber. Furthermore, you may find the connector for the optional breathing system heater and the port for the sample gas return. In the base unit of the Fabius GS Premium, you can find an optional pull-out tray. The Fabius GS Premium is equipped with three spacious drawers for storage. The central brake of the Fabius GS Premium accounts for easy and safe positioning. Turning the Fabius GS Premium to the side, we can see the power supply for the breathing system heater. The integrated Draeger Anesthesia Gas Measurement Module called SCIO4 and the Anesthetic Gas Scavenging System. Let's turn to the rear side of the anesthesia machine. Located in the upper compartment, from the right to the left, are the mains power on-off switch and the power cable connection. Just above, you can find the communication ports and the sensor connections for the COSI. Central gas supply hoses for oxygen, air and nitrous oxide can be connected to the corresponding gas inlets. In the rear center of the Fabius GS Premium, you find the optional pin index gas cylinder yokes. The walk around the Fabius GS Premium is now finished.